out your boy, Go Black to Africa. So I'm sitting here with a sister that I happened to meet doing a consultation. Yes. Last year, was it? Yes, October. And then we just happened to, ironically, run into each other here in Ghana. And so we want her to definitely introduce herself, and then we'll get into where you're from, sister. Please. Okay. My name is Joanne Drummond, and I am from currently living in Georgia, Atlanta, Smyrna area of Georgia. And I came here on a tour, like I said, um, based off of my consultation with Go Black, and it's been excellent. And then I stayed longer so I could, you know, explore the land and you know see how the feel of everything. And I definitely love Ghana. I love an Africa. Period. Um, it's been a long time coming. I've been wanting to come for years, and, and then the move came about. Wanting to move here. Uh, based off of George Floyd, you know. Oh, okay, okay. So your first time in Africa, and you extended your stay beyond the tour. Yes. Which means that you really enjoyed it then. Yes. You wasn't anxiously trying to get back. No. No, because you're here in Ghana, and so you'll wind up at stay how many days? It'll be 29 total. 29 total. But you're going on to? Tanzania. Tanzania. Uh -huh. And you're going to be there how long? For 33 days. 33 days. That's awesome, awesome. Now, you said George Floyd incident is what actually inspired you to really get out of America and see some other places. Are you looking at moving to Africa? Oh, yeah, that's what's been said. I want to move to Africa. Yes, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. I just want to be with you know our people, be in our motherland. And I want to, you know, we always talk about uh, circulating our dollars. Well, in the U.S., I've been doing that, but it's not as easy here. And, and one thing about Ghana, that I've learned is that they own their land back. So, you know, you buy the land from your people uh, or whatever you're doing. And, you know, most of the businesses are owned by, you know, black people, the Africans. So just doing that is just great. Yeah. And, and you see the entrepreneurs chip, uh, people sh you can buy anything on the street. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I'll yeah. never get sick of that. Yeah. Um, that. Just that. And then the fact that you own your house, you know, you build your house little by little or whatever is yours. You do whatever you want. And that's amazing. You can't get anything like that in the U.S. No. They tell you 30-year mortgage. Mm -hmm. And you will never own your house because they say the average time um, that a person stays in a house is seven to nine years and they go buy another house. Right. So you will never own your house. And if you do, you're still paying taxes. You and you're still it. paying the taxes on it. And you have eminent domain. They yep. take it. I've seen that happen. So now, the uh, what did you find really your highlights? Since you did the tour, right? Mm -hmm. You went Accra, Kumasi, Elmina, Cape Coast area. Mm -hmm. What was your highlight? There's so many things. Um, first of all, the history of here um, and just learning about Ghana. Um, that, that everything we need is here in the land. So I'm talking na natural, uh, you know, growing of food, uh, organic. Even if it's meat, you know, it's still organic here. Um, just the quality of the people. Everybody's just really friendly and helpful. And, and like I said, we, we know it's not perfect. There's a lot that needs to be done. Uh, but the business that you can do, you know, you can do so many different business things here. And um, just coming here and, and exploring, you know, what you like to do, and just kind of like research. So, yeah. and, and uh, it's just it's, it's like no no limits. No limits. Yes. Now I know you have family back in Georgia, oh. right, right there. What do they think about the idea of you wanting to move to Africa? Mm -hmm. Are any looking at coming to restore with you? Please share with people. Well, my daughter. Um, She's looking to uh, probably at least come over. She'll probably end up moving, but not sure. Um, my, my family's in Virginia, actually. I've been there for 22 years. Okay. I'm originally from Illinois. And uh, so my sister, two sisters, brothers in laws, nephews. My mother's there now, baby brother's there. Um, so they, they're pretty supportive. At first, my oldest sister was, uh, and my brother in law weren't too sure about it. Uh, but she's now on board with me moving. She sees definitely what I'm going to do. So. Yeah. Well, great. My mom was always supportive. That's why I love my mother. 
Oh, that's good. My dad passed away some years ago. Yeah. And, uh, he's always been supportive as well. Uh, whatever we want to do. So. Nice, nice, nice. So, okay. Tanzania. You're on your way to Tanzania after leaving here. Mm-hmm. Do you, uh, do, um, what do you have in mind there when you go there? Um, are you trying to weigh out the west to the east? Um, well, I was. That was the plan. Yeah. <laughs> but God called me. <laughs> I mean, as soon as I got off the plane, it was just like, I felt home. I, I, don't, I just want to live here. Um, I, I still would probably like to have something there. I want to do some business stuff. Hopefully, um, whether I do an Airbnb there yeah. Yeah. or something. So, you know, so when I travel to the West, the East, whatever, have a place to stay. You yeah. know, so it's a couple of things I'm going to look at. And where are you going to go there? Where, where are you visiting? Are you so, um, I'm going to Dar Epsilon. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll be staying at the um, Giraffe Beach Hotel mm-hmm. in about a week. And then I'm flying to Arusha. Okay. I've uh, got a friend that I met. Um, it's a friend of a friend. So she's coming back. And she's going to move to Arusha. And um, so I'm going to be staying at the Airbnb there. Okay. And um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. But I, I really don't want to leave Ghana now. Because <laughs> you, you are also looking for... Uh, Housing, you know, investing in property and, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So the um, you serious about trying to really get in, root in, and settle in Africa? Yes, definitely. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, and 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 that was the actual impression, I guess, that you got when you got here. Was like, I'm really liking this place. Yes, yes. I'm telling y'all, family. You know, it's a very uh, uh, intriguing and an impactful experience coming. Here to Africa mm-hmm. because when like you know Joanne you're saying is that when you're around your own people and you see nothing but us folks mm-hmm. that's just moving uh, it is yeah it is and, and like I say the entrepreneurship you cannot you have to come see you need to just come see that experience first of all you need to come see the, the dungeons I know we don't like to hear about that history but you, stuff you need to know yeah. that you're not going to learn until you come see it for yourself yeah, and I tell you, my eyes been open to a lot of stuff. It's already been happening, you know, as I have learned different things. Um, but I come like full circle <laughs> yeah. on a lot of things. So I definitely need to come to Africa, even just to visit at least once. Yeah, stay at least three weeks, two weeks at least, but three or more just to visit. Did you have any type of spiritual awakening experience when you landed on the ground? After? I thought no, I thought I was gonna cry, you know, it was <laughs> but no, it was just I just felt home. I just felt like I'm here. It's, it's, it's just, I don't know how to explain it. It, it was spiritual. Uh, it just wasn't like crying. Uh, I, I definitely cried at the dungeons, of course. You know, going through it, and I, I did the um, ritual, you know. Not ritual, but brought pictures of my ancestors, some had passed on, and you know, brought them back home. Um, so that that was an emotional time going through the uh, river um, of no return and then returning. Yes, the last bath. Yeah. Um, and so many things um, that just have been, you know, definitely spiritual. Um, and it will awaken you and be learning and you never stop learning. You don't want to stop learning. So yeah. I've been really enjoying everything that I'm learning. And uh, it's just like, it's got to keep going. All right. Well, I thank you, my sister, for uh, definitely doing this interview. Uh, definitely doing the consultation with me last year. And um, it's, it's great to get the reports from people that, that I was a tremendous help. Um, and... I also wish you the, the, the best in Ghana and Tanzania and that you uh, find the area, the place that you are looking for. Thank you. Yes. And, and you can talk about your uh, tour. Yeah, I'm going to be doing my tour. Yeah, she's going to do me. <laughs> my tour is going to be coming up in November. Uh, so look out for that Definitely on the that. website. Yeah, on the website. Mine's going to be a little different. Uh, tour is going to be more of a uh, spiritual journey. And so um, that uh, uh, should be also impactful for those who are looking to reconnect, close some chapters, some doors, um, those who are looking for answers, you know, because we only know one story is that we arrive on the shores of America. And, you know, so the, uh, um, 
definitely it's going to be very impactful. So go to go back to Africa.com and look for hopefully my first announcement by July. So, great. You have any last words that you'd like to share with people? If they have an inclination of coming to visit Africa, never been, what have you, what would you say to them? Just do it. You know, uh, do some research, uh, like, you know, see where you might want to go or, uh, like, go back, suggested come to Ghana first. I see why, you know, definitely um, come to Ghana is central to a lot of things, the connection. Um, it's something you, I just can't really explain. You have to see it for yourself, and you'll you'll see why. And you just got to do it. You just really have to come, please. All righty then. Well, this is your man, and this is your woman. <laughs> Go black to Africa. Africa. <laughs>